here's an example where I wanted to understand how GroupBy in SQL works. It uses sample data, visualizations, and code if required to explain the query or the topic that the user wants to understand. So let's check out the video that was generated by the system for this query. Welcome. In this video, we'll learn about the GroupBy clause in SQL. I have been in tech education for over eight years now. I have worked with all the top tech companies over the world. And this time I had this idea to automate educational content creation using AI. And in this video, I'm going to share my journey of building an application that had immense potential. Everybody said this is super cool when I showed them the prototype. Some people said this could be the future of edtech, but things didn't quite work out. Here's what went wrong. So the idea was pretty simple. If somebody wants to understand any technical or STEM topic, like how to solve a differential equation or how attention mechanism works, then my application should be able to generate a three blue one brown style animated video for you explaining that topic. Now, AI is not at all good at educational video creation. I mean, you can create generic scenes like, you know, mountains, rivers, roads, all those things. But if you had to write equations, if you had to animate intricate diagrams in that particular scene, then video models are far from generating or creating that sort of videos, at least for now. So video models were out of the question. But many of you would know that the videos posted on 3Blue1Brown's channel are actually created using a library called Manim. So Manim is this Python library that was created by Grant Sanderson, also known as 3Blue1Brown, for his own videos. And LLMs are usually good at coding. So I thought I should be able to make this work. I was so hyped, I started building this. Now for this app to create high quality educational videos, I had to get three components right. First one was the kind of animations that would become part of those videos. So I had to write correct and high quality animation scenes that will further make up the entire explanation very interesting to look at. So first one was animation script writing along with voiceover that will be part of my video. The second component was writing the code itself. So generating manim code using LLMs. And finally, the third component which is executing that code and rendering the video. Sounds simple. I started off by building an agentic application using Creo AI, and I also had a version, uh, um, an autogen version of the same application. And it had three agents, one for script writing, second one for code generation, and then the third agent for code reviewing. They had their corresponding tasks defined, Finally, after some cleaning of the generated code, I would render the video. I ran the app and there you go. The video got rendered Welcome. and Today, so did the dreams in my eyes. I tried on another query, error. Debugged, updated the prompt, fourth query, error again. And for the videos that were generated, they had multiple issues. There was text overflowing the canvas, overlapping figures and texts, issues with the equations, positioning. There are so many factors with Manim that you have to get right before you can consistently produce videos that work. So my application was working five times out of 10 and I was able to create videos for simpler topics, but the video had issues. I got it to work to a great extent, but the quality was nowhere close to what I had in mind. So I started reaching out to people in my circle, uh, you know, talk to a bunch of founders in the Silicon Valley who were working on, you know, AI related problems themselves, but nobody had the answer. Everyone had good things to say. They found it super cool. They were like asking, Oh, how did you do it? All of those things. And in this process, I also came across a company that was coming out of Stanford and those guys were solving the exact same problem. They, uh, like the application was exactly same. You had to give the prompt, the system would generate the video. They were selling subscriptions at $20 a month. And I joined their Discord server. I found out that they are also struggling. I could see the number of errors, uh, you know, that the system was generating, that their application was generating when somebody was entering a prompt. So I could see that AI is 
not quite there yet. They are also struggling. They have probably fine-tuned the model as well and still they were not able to generate videos consistently. So to give myself closure on this idea, I had to tell myself that AI is not quite there yet, at least for the use case that I had in mind, the idea and the vision that I had for this application. So I dropped the idea and don't get me wrong, AI and tools are great, okay, but there's still time for AI to nail such ambitious use cases. Now, I'm sure there are workarounds. I could define the problem differently. I could focus on a smaller subset of topics or find other ways of creating videos. And if you have any ideas, you know, comment down below. Uh, but for now, I am just done. I'm just kidding. Another application and I am hyped again. <laughs>